Hey guys, Dean here. Minecraft 1.19 has been out for a minute, but 1.19.2 just dropped, so you know what that means. In this video, I'll be showing you the top 10 Minecraft 1.19.2 mods to install right now. Let's begin. Number 10, Modern Glass Doors. I like the wooden doors in Minecraft. They're pretty good for privacy and you can blend them with the different wood types. But modern house builds are a little neglected and the variation is quite dull. Modern Glass Doors add some versions of the normal Minecraft doors, namely glass types that can be crafted by combining the original wooden door along with a glass pane in a crafting table to acquire the new one. Not only are there doors, but there's trap doors too. These doors look far more stylish and much more attractive. Number 9, Extra Arrows. There's quite a lot of different arrows in Minecraft. Whether it be poison arrows, normal arrows or strength arrows, there's a decent choice. Extra Arrows adds 52 new Ones. Arrows coming in 12 new types with 4 sub tiers. The types of arrows are as follows Explosive, Vexing, Atlantean, Tracking, Ender, Lightning, Torch, Redstone Torch, Soul Torch, Slime, Padded, and Headless Arrows. Most are pretty self explanatory, but they do some weird and wonderful things. All arrows, minus the padded and the headless ones, can be upgraded to iron, gold, diamond, or netherite tier. Number 8 villager hats mod. You know how villagers of all different professions have those cool hats right? Well if you want to wear one too I guess you can now. You can now craft and wear villager hats with this mod and equip it in a helmet slot or in a hat slot if you use the trinkets mod alongside it. You can also acquire them as loot drops from zombie villagers. So if you want to be a farmer I guess you can do that now. Number 7 probably chess. Remember mimics from terraria or from the aether mod in minecraft? Yes? No? Well, this mod adds a ton of different biome blending chest types with different textures and models into the game which really build upon the atmosphere. You can now seek out this new treasure to get precious valuables and loot within these unique chests. Or you may run into mimics hiding in the dark waiting to bite or attack you. Of course, mimics being what appear to be chests but upon contact reveal themselves as monsters of trickery out to get you. There are mimics and pet mimics, different pot types, locks and keys to open them and some more fun features that you'll find along the way. Number 6 Ultimate Car Mod one of the best vehicle mods, this one introduces cars, biodiesel production and the construction of roadways in your worlds, with different vehicle types with various features to pick from. You first develop biodiesel before you start driving on the constructed roads which you're going to want to build. From a combination of over 54,000 car types such as single and double seaters, trucks with different container types and SUVs, you can build different types of asphalt roads with markings on them and refuel your car at a gas station which you can build out of the different machinery blocks in the fuel production system.
Number 5 Biome Makeover This mod serves as an enhancement to the game's vanilla biomes, improving four biomes currently which are the mushroom fields, the badlands, the swamp and the dark forest. The example that I'll cover here is the dark forest that offers a reworked woodland mansion with tameable owl pets, new enchanting features and more. There are ancient oak trees that now tower above the canopy of the roofed forest, an ivy that covers oak trees and mansions as as well as brand new crops and mushrooms that make the biome more vibrant. There's some new mob additions too. The rootlings that are an animal plant hybrid that grow from seeds and can be sheared for petals. Owls that are tameable and help fight for you. Stone golems that can be crafted and be armed up with crossbows to attack enemies. Moths which seek out light sources and spawn above forest canopies. The adjudicator illager which you'll have to find out the mystery of what that is yourself. And foxes and rabbits which are now able to spawn within this particular biome. Number 4 Corail Woodcutter Just like the stone cutter, this mod is a sawmill with recipes related to wooden items using wooden planks and logs and they come in different colours. This block allows you to access some new recipes to easily cut wood to create its craftables in a completely different way. Number 3 Village Artifacts The items in this mod are for making villagers more useful and improving them in some form, like converting converting pillagers to town guards or upgrading iron golems to stronger versions that won't actually attack players. The rough emerald shard unlocks blocked villager traits. The amulet converts pillagers into town guards to use against the opposition in a raid's defense. The oblivion stone upgrades iron golems to be powerful and player neutral. The war emblem summons pillagers on demand. The icor of virtue increases your reputation and it erases village crimes as some sort of a bribe. The Plague Remedy heals zombie villagers without needing to use potions whatsoever. You can convert wandering traders into normal villagers with the trade contract item. The Infernal Shard corrupts villagers and trader NPCs into pillagers and makes some illager subtypes slightly stronger. The Scroll of Hubris erases a villager's profession as well as their levels and also their trades. The Grimoire of the Lost Merchants Guild offers an instant level up to their profession level without needing to trade. There's the Golem Steel Brazier, which lures villagers and guards to you and it makes them follow you whilst being held. And then there's the Llama Key, which frees wandering traders llamas from their captivity and it converts them to normal ones. Number 2 Repurpose Structures This mod has the idea of taking pre-existing vanilla features and structures and modifying them in a way to create brand new variations of them to spawn in the world. For an example, Nether Fortresses have been repurposed into a brand new type. Type, jungle fortresses that echo an Aztec or a Mayan cultural feeling. There's 12 variants to the in-game dungeons, 14 new mineshaft versions, 4 new types of monuments, 11 brand new villages and 16 new temples, 4 different igloos, 14 new pillager outpost types, 4 variants of the shipwrecks, 6 new witch huts, 5 new ruins with 4 being on land and 1 in the nether, an end themed ruined portal, a nether themed end city and overworld themed end city, a nether stronghold and end stronghold, an underground overworld bastion and 6 brand new desert well types that will spawn within the other biomes. This mod completely retains the vanilla feeling by introducing already available features but by putting a completely fresh new spin on them. Number 1 Sodium Sodium introduces an all new rendering engine framework into Minecraft in an effort to vastly increase the performance and the frame rate of the game. This offers as a solution to stuttering and general graphical issues, along with compatibility with the Fabric Mod Loader and Fabric API system of mods. Sodium is a stable mod that introduces a modern rendering pipeline which allows for a significant reduction in CPU usage during world rendering, boosting performance for a lot of machines. Video memory requirements are cut, multi-threading has been taken advantage of and there's a lot of optimizations to speed up the rendering of blocks, entities, items and mobs. Sodium improves how the game allocates its memory, reducing consumption and tending to those lag spikes. You can also expect many options for graphical fixes for the smooth lighting effects and better implementation for it across fluids and special blocks, along with animated textures, making the game still look great but run better with greater optimization. And that concludes this list on the top 10 Minecraft 1.19.2 mods. I will link my videos below on 1.19.1 and 1.19. These will 
will offer 20 more different mods which you can check out, which most likely have also been updated to 1.19.2 as well. Tell me in the comments below your favourite of these 10 mods which I featured in this video and why that is. And also tell me any other 1.19.2 mods which have been updated and that I didn't feature that you'd recommend. Give the video a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it so we can hit 100k subs that much sooner. Thanks for watching.